Annie, would you like to tell everyone where we're going? So we're going to a movie today. Yeah. And he is in his harness. We haven't done him in his harness in a while. I had some vertigo last night and woke up without it. So I'm really thankful for that. So we're going to go see this second Avatar movie with my parents. And I'll show you what we do when we go to a movie. That's why it wasn't focusing. I had mine. So we, we're at Avatar 2 in the movie theater. And uh, I bring a blanket and a little pad under there for him. Because this is a wheelchair accessible seat, the arm heat rest comes up. I get the closed caption device. And so I actually brought extra batteries in case they died, but they haven't. And basically it's on, you can see, and it goes into this little hole. It screws into there, I'll show you. So the closed caption device, this one, uh, I've been in theater where it actually like clamps onto a table because there's a table in the, the theater. This is the closed caption device and this is how you put it on. You can tell here that it's got a clamp and basically there's a little screw so it's like a vise. And I turn the bottom kind of clockwise to tighten and then this thing, I turn it on on the side here. Here you can see you can change the language. This English, Spanish, and French. And then usually when I get it, it's on the charge and you just turn it on to run. They change the batteries out. You can see they're on the bottom. There's nothing else to do except for turn it on. And then when mine was turned on, it says the theater. And you really can put it however you want. I found that sitting in the far right is actually the best for me. And then I position it pretty much right below the screen, which is right here. And the reason why I put it there is because it's easy for me to watch and then just look down really quickly and it doesn't really get in my way. I don't notice it. It's actually projected on the back of the screen here. It doesn't bother anybody else. There's no light coming out. See, you can't see any light. So nothing is reflecting on me, so it doesn't bother anyone. And you can see it really clearly. And in other theaters, they have a cup holder here in the armrest, and you can put it in the armrest, and then you position it. It's great because it's not in the way for me or for others. So you can see. Maybe you just need someone watching your back, like a partner. But this one screws into the cup rest, and then you can adjust it so that it's at the height uh, to see. So you can see it says welcome to the theater. There is a, on the side here you can see, this is where I turned it on, so it's off and then it's on. So you can change the language. It looks like they charge it, but sometimes they'll have a case for batteries. Yeah, there's a battery thing down here. Oh, but it's screwed in. So I couldn't have replaced the batteries if I wanted to. I brought them in case, but you always want to check it before the movie starts because I have been stuck with the movie starting and not having it ready, so yay. I took his harness off because we're going to be here for so long. Um, he's got his coat on because it can get cold in here, but I, I have a bone for him too, and if he has to go to the bathroom, he'll let me know, but he should be good. And this is the armrest here, but because he's there, I like to do this. And this, and this seat reclines. That's what we do in the theater. Ben.